Meanwhile, in its latest financial report, Pan-African Resources announced a 30% increase in profit, driven by higher gold prices and improved production levels. The South African mining company saw a 16.8% rise in revenue to $373.8 million for the year ending in June, with headline earnings jumping to 32% to $79.5 million. Additionally, PAR also proposed a final dividend of 489 million rand for the 2024 fiscal year, equivalent to 22 cents per share. Moreover, CEO Quivis Lewitz highlighted operational enhancements that enable the company to take advantage of the favorable gold market conditions while expressing plans to hedge against future gold price fluctuations. Investment research analyst Simela Mbanja provides further analysis on these positive results. So not much was a surprise from this result. It was well guided for by management. Revenue increased 16.8%, mostly due to higher sales, higher production, and the higher gold price, while headline earnings per share increased 32.2%, uh, attributable to the same factors as well as very good cost management by the company. Um, what was also very impressive was the progression of the group's biggest uh, projects that they've ever undertaken which is the MTR project, which is expected at full capacity to contribute 50,000 extra ounces per year uh, to the group's gold production output. And it is currently in commissioning and steady state production is expected by the end of the year behind budgets and ahead of schedule.